From oriental hairstyles, we turn our attention to something from China. No, not the food, not the waiter, nor even the plates. Although plates, as you'll see, play an important part in our story. Waiters have to be skillful to balance numerous plates, but have you ever seen one go as far as this young lady? Well, there's no mystery, really. It's an act perfected over many years by Miss Tu Xu Ni, seen here in just one of the many items presented at Murray's Cabaret Club in London. An excellent way of slimming, this. It's got yoga knocked into a cocked turban but we don't recommend spine-creaking experiments at home with the best dinner service. The bowls, incidentally, are of porcelain and are much too valuable to be dropped. The secret of success in this line is to practice diligently for two or three hours a day for several years when you might, if you haven't gone bankrupt buying plates, you might become an expert plate twirler. Part of plate spinning is not new, it was practiced by itinerant jugglers in China many centuries ago. And even now in the United States, it is rapidly replacing the hula hoop as number one craze. If so, it will undoubtedly have the crockery manufacturers rubbing their hands with glee. Stepsister Tu Xiu Kia has not been juggling for so long and so far acts only as an assistant, but hopes eventually to graduate to four plate standard. These talented youngsters propose to tour the world with their act. You will be relieved to hear that unlike bath water going down the plug hole, the plates won't spin in the opposite direction south of the equator. It seems to us that it's difficult enough to spin plates on slender sticks without making life more complicated by introducing acrobatics. But there you are, that's show business. These girls really believe in seeing life from one angle or another. And has it occurred to you that they've got the space boffins beaten hands down? Who ever heard of two people keeping six satellites orbiting happily?